Hello, in this video I will show you how you can bulk message on WhatsApp using the Notifier by WhatsApp tool. So first step is you can send any type of message including videos, attachments or just text messages to as many people as you want and we have a very smart delivery system that allows you to send bulk messages without getting blocked. So let me show you how it first works. So you can create templates on WhatsApp. So for example, you could create your own message which would include any type of image, video or anything. So you could, for example, make a button says hi, we have a special offer and then you could put dynamic text. So for example, hi and then show the name of the person. All right, so you would create it here. Hi, we have a special offer. And then if you know four and then you could choose another variable for like the product that's specific to this person. And then you can create buttons on that as well. So say things where people can reply saying I'm interested or I want to know more. Or you could have a button that's visit your website. And then you could put here like buy now, for example. And then they would click here. It would go to whichever link you want. Those links can also be dynamic and different for each person. You can have a button that's to call a phone number or even to copy an offer code if you want. And you can customize all of that. So you can put a video here. It would come attached to the message and you can add even more options if you want. So that's kind of the overall style. And then I'm just gonna show you one that we have already created for this with an image. The form looks like this. Let me just preview this here. It's basically, hi Axel here, thank you for filling the form. Here's a sample invoice for you to check. And then it would come with an image. Now I'm going to broadcast this template, all right? If we go here to broadcast, which is the same as bulk messaging, we can click here and make a schedule. We'll call it like a Black Friday offer, for example. And then here we would choose the template that we have created, lead form filled up. All right, so we see here that we have the variable. This is the variable for the name. Okay, so you have two options. You can either decide that everyone gets this variable is dynamic or put the same for everyone. So in this case, I'm gonna use a dynamic variable for the text, so I'm gonna check here. So this will be dynamic. I'm gonna put in the CSV. There's gonna be one specific column for the name, but the media, the image will be the same for everyone. Now, the other tool that's super useful is you can create labels. So if you have labels, we have a chat here where you can create labels. So I'm gonna say that everyone that will receive this broadcast should get automatically labeled as hot leads, which means people who are very interested in our product, or I'm gonna put them as people who live in Edinburgh. I can, put, and then I will be able to later in the chat section, let me just show you how this looks here. In the chat, this can you can create a specific logins only for your team where they only see the chat, they don't get access to anything else, but you could then filter conversations by everyone who's marked as a hot lead and marked as, a, for example, that they live in Edinburgh. So everyone who fits this criteria, would appear here and then you can have a conversation with them on WhatsApp if they reply. And also you can have AI reply. Back to the broadcast, I'm going to put an image to this broadcast and I want this image to be the same for everyone. So I'm gonna have a Google Drive link with an image that's publicly accessible and I'm gonna paste it here that will be part of the broadcast. All right, so I have this image here. Now what's very important is that when you click on share, again, you could use OneDrive, Dropbox, anything, but the only thing that's important is usually they are restricted. They should be, anyone with the link should be, I, I think you can put it as viewer, it should be fine. I'm gonna copy this link and then I'm gonna go back here and paste the image here, all right? For the variable, I'm just gonna put here a sample text, okay, so that I can test it with my own name, but this will be dynamic in the CSV that we put. So I'm gonna press on continue. I'm gonna send a test message to myself just to check uh, that everything is working fine. So I'm gonna send a test message. This is a great way before you're gonna bulk message people to know that everything is working fine. So the message has been sent successfully. Now we're gonna receive this from our bot. And we can see the message has arrived here. So it says, hi Axel, thank you for filling out the form. Here's a sample invoice for you to check. Let us know if you have any questions. So for example, this, this template that I created has the image that I just put. And I could, for example, click here on learn more and then it will automatically reply here. And this, you see, I, I clicked here on learn more. Now, if we go to our chat system, let me just, I forgot now which label to put. I see here that Axel, which is me, has clicked on learn more and then I can hi, say like, what would you like to know? You know, I can reply here and then this will go into the WhatsApp here that I'm receiving. 
And the great thing is you can also have a handle, like you could have AI be your answering machine as default to qualify and talk with your leads. And if a human wants to come in, you can simply say, hey, stop AI, and then switch it back between humans and AIs. Now we can continue. We're gonna say, this, we're gonna decide, okay, this broadcast is gonna be scheduled for a specific date. Okay. And then here we could see, a, we can download a template of how our template should be filled up based on our needs. That the body one would be here, the, 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 the name of the person. And then here you would put the phone number. So we just have to copy paste all the phone numbers that you want and the specific variables that you want. For example, this would be the names. And then you simply upload this. Let me just show you here. Um, with the country code, you don't need to put the plus. And then here we're going to put Axel. And then we would have another phone number we could simply put here. Okay, so for example, now we have this thing here. This We just filled it up with the names. You could again paste it. I'm going to export it as an Excel sheet or a CSV could work both ways. And then we'll upload the CSV here. So we have a really cool feature here, which is duplicates and duplicate entries will be removed automatically. So you could have a huge list and there could be duplicate numbers and it will just delete it. It will just only send one message. So I actually put a different broadcasting here. It has 24 people in the list. Okay. It will tell you how much WhatsApp will charge you for this broadcast. In this case, it would cost $81. Okay, so depending, WhatsApp charges you around between, depending on the country that you send to, between two to six or eight cents per person that receives a message. And you would see the cost here calculated. You can see which template you're sending, the name of the campaign. And then what's really great is our delivery system. So you have two, we have, you have actually three options to send a broadcast message. And we designed this so that you don't get blocked by WhatsApp for broadcasting or bulk messaging, which happens quite frequently. So the first system, which is the smart delivery is, we know that WhatsApp know, decides to block your number or not based on the read rate of your messages. That's one of the factors. So you could say, for example, look, send 20 messages right away and then continue once, for example, 85% of messages have been opened, have been read. And then once WhatsApp knows, okay, these 85% of these 20 messages have been read, it will send again 20 messages and continue while always keeping a high read rate. And you can edit the read rate at any time. If you see, hey, people are not opening a message, you can either cancel the broadcast or lower the read rate to make sure. That's one of the options. The other option is just say, uh, just send a few messages every minute. So for example, send six messages per minute, six messages per minute, and then every minute it will send six messages, which is again a very balanced way to not get blocked. You could even send, send four messages if you're more conservative and don't want to block, or if you want to, you can broadcast to everyone at once, but that has a high likelihood of getting blocked. So that's how broadcasting works. And then let me just quickly show you, let me make sure I'm gonna, I'm gonna cancel this broadcast later, but I'm, just, I'm gonna schedule this. All right, and then if we can, we can see the upcoming broadcast, we can delete them if we say we don't want it. This is a bit of a mess because we've been using it a lot, but you can see how many numbers were actually texted, what type of delivery you use, so like regular term, which is like every few messages, and then you can download all the list of actual numbers that are on WhatsApp, and you can download the list of message of phone numbers that didn't work, all right? And then if you use a smart delivery system, you can see the read rate of your campaign. So you can see this campaign had a 100% read rate and it was delivered to, it was a small test campaign to three people and those three people read it. And then you can download the list of all the ones who read it. Or in the case of a campaign where the phone number fails, you can download all the phone numbers which failed. So that's a very useful way in case you wanna keep your list clean. So that's how broadcasting works. It's super easy, it's using notifier system. So the way it works is you connect here with Facebook, it's very, you, you click here, you connect your WhatsApp phone number with our system through Meta because we're an official tech provider. All right, takes literally uh, 10 minutes at max. Or you can also use it with um, our Zapier and make integrations. So if you wanna, for example, send a template message as part of your process and you want WhatsApp messages to be automated, you could simply come, for example, this is a Google Sheet to WhatsApp. So you can have, okay, Whenever a Google Sheet is entered, someone is entering to my Google Sheet, send a phone number to their phone, a message to their phone number, and you can put 
the name dynamically, like for example, hi, and then the name, and then you could have here either put an information manually or not. And then the same works on make, where for example, you can have a form, and then if people reply, you can put dynamically the phone number that you wanna send the message, and then you choose which template you would like to send. I can see the template I'm sending here, and then you can decide, okay, do I wanna put and the link to the website static? You can just simply put it like this, and then it, they will receive a WhatsApp message right away. If you have any questions, need a demo or anything else, we're always happy to help. You also have videos across every step of the process to guide you through it. So even there's a few things here that you need to do to get started with your number. And you have a video for each thing here. And you can always contact us here. Now, if you want a super easy way to send messages without having to send it from your number, we also have our own bot that you can send the messages from. The way that works is basically you have our bot sending the message. So it comes from our brand, but it would say message from and then the name of your business. And again, you can send attachments and more. All right. If you have any questions, again, let us know. Happy to help. Have a great day. Thank you.